Welcome to the Brooklyn and Margot show. This is the first episode of the Best Buddies Connecticut Friendship Walk Walker Spotlight Initiative. Brooklyn and I together will be spotlighting individuals as well as buddy pairs to share their story and why they walk with us. So today we're interviewing Angelo from Eastern Connecticut's chapter and Margo is going to start off with our first question. Angelo, how long have you been involved in Best Buddies? So I started in 2013, so it is now about to be eight years in December this year. What Best Buddies program or programs are you a part of? So I have my hand in several different programs. I'm in the college programs for one. I'm in the ambassadors. And I also have my hand in the citizens chapters. What is your favorite thing about Best Buddies? Um, the, the community itself is very welcoming, very enthusiastic when it comes to friendship and inclusion. And I feel that I embody those values as well. How do you feel that Best Buddies has become a part of your life? Um, I can honestly tell you Best Buddies has been a very crucial part of my life ever since I joined eight, seven, eight years ago. It, it's given me a place to, to speak out, to gain the confidence that I need to, to do what I need to do, especially nowadays. What does supporting Best Buddies mean to you? Um, it's not just supporting Best Buddies not only means more friendships, but it also means more opportunities for for people like me and for people like like Brooklyn and everyone who's around me to experience this, especially when it comes to friendship, because Nowadays is not as easy because we're in our virtual settings. So we need friendship as much as we can. Um, why do you walk in the Best Buddies Connecticut Friendship Walk? I walk for other people like me to gain the experience on having friendships, having that person by your side and meeting new people, especially from different parts of the state. What is your favorite thing about the Best Buddies Connecticut Friendship Walk? My favorite thing would have to be the, the activities after the walk, especially when you're off campus, you're in a, surrounded by your closest friends. Like I remember one year we were able to do like bowling with pumpkins and that's kind of fun in in a way i also enjoy the the all all around inclusiveness especially is there anything you are looking forward to in future friendship walks like the one this coming spring well i'm looking forward to seeing a lot of people seeing a lot of friends take part in this even though myself i and if you others are not able to do this, I still look forward to seeing the highlights of this walk, especially now. So Angela, what can people watching this video do to help support what you talked about today in regards to the friendship walk? Well, best, best case scenario, sign up for the walk. Help us raise our goals. If you, if you sign up today, if you sign up today, you'll, You'll not only be helping other schools gain best bodies, but also help others as well. You can also donate to any chapter, any any people who is involved with it, with best buddies in that way. Angela, thank you so much for being our um, first spotlight of our first episode. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you or and your buddy pair would be interested in being our next spotlight, please reach out to Lynn Simon at lynnsimon at bestbuddies.org.
Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Thank you.